So what's up? So this video, Synergy Reef Overflow, Shadow. What's up YouTube? Gluing the Synergy Reef Overflow, the Shadow. I pre-ordered this, got the free t-shirt. This is just the back of it. So 1027, anybody counting? I don't know what that means. They're individually serial numbered. All the plumbing I went with, schedule 80. I wanted to go gray. It's gonna be partially exposed, so I want it to look neat. Gray, schedule 80, thicker. I went with the more expensive spears, unions, the glue. So normal glue is that purple stuff. I've seen a video from Bulk Reef Supply. Well done. I mean, Bulk Reef Supply, they do some cool stuff. And the, I, I didn't even know about this. So it's, it's gray, it's industrial strength. It's even got a stronger bonding strength than the purple. So my idea is, since I'm so crazy about this coloring and all this stuff, I didn't want to make a mess. I was going to try to tape it and fit it in here and squeeze it in. I don't know if that's going to work. That's what I'm going to try. So I guess that's it. I guess I should get to work. Start gluing this. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, we should use a mask. So... I'm just here, I'm, I'm just priming it. I'm gonna actually put the unions on the uh, Synergy Reef Overflow. And there is a specific way the unions go, whether it's thread up or the fitting down. I believe I did it the right way. So the threaded piece is hanging down and the coupling from underneath threads up on top of it. You know, I really did not need to prime these. From what I understand, the primer is good when you have a pressure application. In the reef tank, even the drains or your pump, there's not enough pressure there to really need that type of adhesion. So the 7-Eleven Weld On by itself probably would have been enough. So this is completely overkill. But it is what it is. The one thing you got to worry about, and I probably should have taped that face of the uh, union that mates to the other piece, so when you push that tube in, some of the glue did squeeze out the end and onto that face. And that face is what you want, a nice smooth surface so it seals with the other union that has the O-ring. So I've glued all the unions on the pieces. Now I'm just going to go through and glue them onto the overflow box. Nice and easy. The, the Synergy Reef Overflow is not made out of thick acrylic. So you do have to be somewhat careful. I know I, you could, it looks like I'm putting a lot of pressure on it, but you do have to be, I think you could, if you twisted it the wrong way, you might be able to break that box. And what I also did is from the inside, I taped the inside where the inside pipes go. The main reason for that is, same thing, when you squeeze that pipe in, the glue's going to rush out the end. In the inside, you really do not want to glue, right? Because you, you're going to have to adjust the height of your pipes, so you don't want to glue that. Press fit's fine. Even if it leaked a little bit, it wouldn't matter. I mean, they're just drains. So I did tape the inside of those. I'm almost done here. I tried to make this video short. I know there's not a lot of excitement going on here. You know, these, I just measured them short enough that the unions were up against the box. If I have any issue, I can replace what's below the union. So I'm just gluing everything up here. The Synergy Refill Overflow is a really nice piece, though. It's put together nice. I didn't have any issues with it at all. And you know that the Schedule 80, the piping, I think was just way overkill. It's very thick. You could probably hang off of it. I mean, that. I probably should have went with the Thin Wall Schedule 40 from Bulk Reef Supply in a color. I think that's a better choice. This stuff is just too thick. It's a shame that the unions don't come in a gray or a different color. Because the, the white just sticks out. I mean, if it's in your house or anywhere you could see it, the white plumbing is just, it sticks out so bad. So we're wrapping it up here. Here's the last one, pulling it off. I'm going to pull the tape from the inside. Oh. 
Yep, just to make sure nothing sticks in there. So that's it. That's the uh, overflow. I'm going to show you the ends here. Came out pretty nice. The middle one you can see where I should have had tape on the end. So this is just some guy talking. He's just, just shut up and show us the overflow. There it is. And there's the end. The gray looks really nice. I mean, the gray on gray, I know it's only plumbing and nobody really cares, but it looks really nice. It has like a welded finished look to it, which is crazy. But oh, you can see my smudge there. Very easy to do. See, now if you look at the middle one, I'll you can see there's some little boogers on there. Look how nice that looks. That one came out really nice. So thanks for watching. I know this was a long video just to glue in three bulkheads. Um, next week or next video, I'm going to show the rest of the plumbing. I'll glue some pieces together, finish the plumbing on the tank. I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you did get this far, holy cow. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. See ya.